Friends, welcome to another in our ongoing series of prayer videos. As together we consider prayer, raise up to God our concerns and celebrations, and hold our parish prayer list and others in prayer. As always, if you have specific prayer concerns or celebrations that you would like raised up, just email me or call the church office. We'll be glad to add them in. Now, by way of celebrations this week, we have some birthdays coming up. Mike Howard on the 19th, Carol Polidoro, Jackie Martin, Ernie Walsh, Hilary Sprague, and yes, Jesus, all on the 25th. Joanne Wastrom has come off the prayer list because she's doing much better. Hallelujah. Now, by way of prayer concerns, Betsy Miller writes that her brother-in-law, Jay Blum, who had been suffering horribly from complications from COVID, contracted all the way back in September, has passed away. She asks that his family be held in prayer, asking to ease their pain at this devastating loss of a loving, funny partner and father. Peggy Allen continues to recover from surgery for bladder cancer. She's now doing rehab up in Weymouth. We will, of course, want to continue to hold in prayer the people of Israel and Gaza and the whole terrible situation in that part of the world, plus, of course, the people of Ukraine still suffering from Russian invasion. We've talked in the past about using prayer devotional booklets as an aid to our prayer life. And this week, I want to riff on that by suggesting the use of poetry, specifically here in the holiday season, this little book of poems by Anne Weems, titled Kneeling in Bethlehem. My suggestion would be to take it slow, maybe read a poem a day, read it silently, then read it aloud. Ask yourself, how is God speaking to me through this poem? What images startle me? What images bother me? What new truth seems to speak to me? From this poem. Today I share with you one of those poems. It's called Against Our Better Judgment. We told her she couldn't go. She was too young to stay up that late. She told us that baby Jesus would be there and he was younger than she. We told him he couldn't go. He was too old to brave the cold night air. He told us he'd rather greet heaven from the Christmas Eve service than be found slumped by the TV. So he bundled them up against the extreme cold, against their own defenselessness, against our better judgment, and they went out with joy. My prayer is that those of us who think that we're in charge of the world and the church will remember that the stable was filled with such as these those who could not be kept from rejoicing. In the spirit of love, let us hold the members of our parish prayer list and others in prayer as we listen to Steve Gregory perform Feliz Navidad. God bless you all, and God be with you until we meet again.